Nestled near Nanjing, the Yangshan Quarry stands as a testament to human ambition and ancient enigma. Amidst the dust and echoes of history, it houses the colossal unfinished steel intended to honor a Ming Dynasty emperor. Why would humans undertake such a grand project, knowing the immense challenge of moving it, only to mysteriously abandon it? This enigma not only captivates the imagination but also compels us to explore the profound complexities of engineering, royal ambition, and perhaps supernatural influences. The Yangshan Quarry is an archaeological site of great historical significance, primarily due to its ambitious yet unfinished project initiated by the Yongle Emperor. This project aimed to create a monumental steel to honor his father, the Hanguo Emperor, founder of the Ming Dynasty. The project sought to preserve and commemorate the knowledge passed down through the generations. The Yongle Emperor, reigning from 1402 to 1424, is renowned for his major architectural and cultural accomplishments, including the construction of the Forbidden City and this grand steel project. This endeavor was intended not only as a gesture of familial respect but also to legitimize his rule by connecting his achievements with those of the dynasty's founder, thereby enhancing the continuity and legitimacy of his reign. The construction of such a monument also showcased the imperial power and advanced engineering capabilities of the Ming Dynasty. From an architectural standpoint, the primary goal of the Yangshan Quarry was to extract stone of unprecedented size and scale. The steel intended for the Hanguo Emperor was to be the largest ever created, symbolizing the immense power and enduring legacy of the Ming Dynasty. This ambitious project required vast resources and a workforce capable of overcoming the logistical challenges posed by the stone's enormous dimensions in Imperial China. Erecting steels was a profound cultural act often associated with honoring divine or royal entities. The Yongle Emperor's project connected him with the divine mandate, attributing an almost celestial reverence to his ancestors and himself, thereby reinforcing his rule as divinely sanctioned. The design and craftsmanship of the steel were intended to be magnificent, composed of three grand pieces, the base, which was designed to support the enormous weight of the steel and serve as both a physical and symbolic foundation, the body, which was to be intricately engraved with inscriptions praising the Hanguo Emperor and detailing his accomplishments and virtues, and the crown, planned to be elaborately decorated with dragon motifs or other imperial symbols, signifying the celestial authority of the emperor. The dimensions of the steel were staggering, the body itself was planned to exceed 30 meters in length, 13 meters wide, and 10 meters thick, weighing approximately 16,250 metric tons. This stone would have been one of the largest ever carved by human hands, comparable in weight to about 2,500 adult African elephants. To appreciate the scale further, the length of the steel's body was almost as long as the wingspan of a Boeing 747 airplane, underscoring not only its immense size but also the bold engineering ambitions of the Ming Dynasty, mirroring the monumental constructions of other ancient civilizations like the Egyptians and Romans. The ambitious project at Yangshan Quarry, intended to immortalize the Yongle Emperor's father, faced insurmountable challenges following the Emperor's death. The primary issue was the logistical nightmare of transporting the immense stone 10 kilometers to the Ming Shaoling Mausoleum. Despite having a large labor force and advanced engineering techniques for the time, the task proved beyond the capabilities of the era's transportation technologies, leading to the project's abandonment. Archaeologists studying the quarry have unearthed a variety of traditional tools used to work these massive stones. Iron chisels, hammers, and levers were employed in a meticulously organized manner to extract and precisely shape the gargantuan stones. The innovative methods used by the workers were particularly ingenious. One such method, known as fire setting, involved heating the rock surface with fire and then dousing it with cold water. This sudden temperature change caused the rock to undergo thermal shock, resulting in cracks that made it easier to shape and remove the stone. The layout of the Yangshan Quarry also provides insights into the organization of labor and resources during that time. Large teams of workers were coordinated in a highly structured approach, possibly under the direct supervision of imperial engineers. This meticulous organization was essential for executing such a monumental project, demonstrating the sophisticated management practices of the Ming Dynasty in handling large-scale constructions. This coordination not only facilitated the quarrying process but also ensured that each phase of the work was completed as efficiently as possible, despite the eventual abandonment of the project due to logistical challenges. 
The organizational skills at Yangshan Quarry were undoubtedly remarkable, but the technological advancements likely employed there truly highlight the ingenuity of ancient Chinese engineering. The massive stones at the quarry, among the largest ever quarried in human history, demonstrate a level of precision in cutting and shaping that implies the use of highly advanced techniques. Historians and archaeologists have long theorized that ancient Chinese engineers might have used now-lost methods that enabled them to accomplish these monumental tasks. These could have included specialized cutting tools, measurement systems for exact angles and flat surfaces, and unique methods for splitting stone from rock beds without causing it to crack entirely. The precision with which these stones were quarried and shaped suggests a sophisticated integration of various fields of knowledge, including geometry, physics, and material science, indicating a highly developed technological culture. Drawing parallels with Roman engineering, we see that Roman engineers also revolutionized construction with the development of hydraulic cement and the extensive use of arches, vaults, and domes, which allowed them to build enduring structures like the Pantheon and the aqueducts. They were adept at utilizing available resources and tailoring their engineering solutions to the diverse conditions within their vast empire. Similarly, the engineers at Yangshan likely developed their own unique methods to manage the quarrying of such massive stones. This might have included intricate lever systems designed to maximize mechanical advantage or even early forms of cranes, powered by large human teams or possibly animals. Both civilizations demonstrated an understanding of leverage and load distribution. For instance, Roman cranes and capstans were used for lifting heavy weights, and similar principles could have been applied in Yangshan for moving large stone blocks. Additional techniques hypothesized to be used at Yangshan include the strategic use of water to aid in the transport of these massive stones by creating a series of canals and using buoyancy. The engineers could have significantly reduced the effective weight of the stones, making them easier to maneuver over large distances. Seasonal adjustments might also have played a role in the timing of the quarry work. Engineers might have taken advantage of frozen ground during the winter to move heavy stones more easily, a technique evidenced in other historical contexts, such as the transport of large stones for the construction of medieval cathedrals in Europe. Moreover, the durability and flexibility of bamboo, widely available in China, would have made it particularly useful for creating temporary frameworks and scaffolding, demonstrating the ingenious solutions employed to tackle the challenges of such a monumental project. Exploring the technological aspects of the Yangshan Quarry project is undoubtedly fascinating, but the supernatural narrative surrounding its abandonment add an equally intriguing dimension. In traditional Chinese culture, the spiritual world is deeply intertwined with the physical realm, and many ancient construction projects are steeped in tales of omens and divine messages. According to local legends, the massive steel project at Yangshan was halted due to supernatural forces. These stories describe strange and ominous signs that appeared during the quarrying process, which workers and officials interpreted as warnings from the heavens. Supposedly, these warnings deterred them from continuing the project for fear of disaster or bad luck. These tales might not be mere superstitions, they might symbolize the fears and practical challenges experienced by workers, which were often explained through supernatural beliefs. Thanks for watching another episode of Just Discovery. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell for future updates on more exciting videos. See you next time.